So, uh, welcome everybody at the this uh, information session on the Master of Advanced Studies in Economics. Uh, my name is uh, Friedrich Vermeulen. I'm a professor of economics at the Department of Economics, and I'm also the di director of graduate studies. Um, so today I would like to give a, a short presentation on our uh, Master of Advanced Studies in Economics program. Um, so let me first give an overview of, of my presentation. First of all, I would like to, to spend some attention on uh, what's your profile, uh, what are your interests, um, why uh, would you be of, why could you be potentially interested in our program? Uh, next, I will tell you more about our program structure, so the different blocks and the different uh, courses we, we will deliver. Um, an important question is why choose to study at the Faculty of Economics and Business at the KU Leuven, since there's also similar programs abroad. Of course, not necessarily a copy of, of this program, but, but programs that, that are yeah, catering the same uh, profile of students. Um, after that, I will continue with, with a, a short discussion on the admission requirements, and I will end with some uh, career perspectives. So, but first, uh, which type of, of students do we attract? Well, the first important thing to, to say is we are a, a master after master uh, study program. So, um, the, the, the students who enter our program already have an initial master degree in economics or equivalent uh, programs uh, elsewhere or, or, or programs that, uh, for example, commercial engineering programs or business engineering programs. So we also attract uh, sometimes such students. But the most important thing to, to, to know is that it's a master after master. So you need an additional, uh, an initial master degree before. You cannot enter this program with, with a bachelor degree in economics, for example. Um, so which type of students do we attract? Well, we, we look for students who, who are very strongly interested in, in the recent scientific developments in uh, both economic theory, so both in terms of, of the theories in microeconomics, macroeconomics, uh, but also interested students in, in uh, novel developments and empirical research methods like uh, econometrics. Um, I'm thinking concretely about microeconometrics, uh, macroeconometrics, so and in, in quantitative methods. So we are typically looking for a student who, who is interested in the recent developments in the literature. Um, a very important remark is that the program is very quantitative uh, and very analytical. So we make use of a lot of quantitative methods, both in terms of economic theory. So we are using a lot of mathematics, statistics, econometrics. So um, if you're strong in, in, in these um, topics, then you might be a student who, who uh, um, can be interested in our program. If you're less strong in, in mathematics and um, if, if, if the more quantitative courses were not really your thing, then you have to think twice before you enter this program. So the, the bar is quite set quite high. So we, we are a, a program that requires a lot of students. But at the same time, of course, we offer a very nice um, set of courses. And if you're strong in quantitative um, uh, and the quantitative aspects, then you for sure might uh, yeah, blossom in this program. Um, so in terms of ambition of the students, we actually look for students who would like to, to build a research career, either in academia, as a, as a researcher, as a professor, maybe in a later stage of their career, or in international institutions. Think about uh, institutions like the World Bank, um, the IMF, uh, OECD, for example, in Paris. So all these institutions also have a um, look for, continuous look for researchers um, who, who master the, who, who are acquainted with the, the most modern theories, who are acquainted with the modern empirical research methods. So students who typically have done our MASI can, can find a, a place in these institutions. Um, so often building a research career also implies that it's often associated with obtaining a PhD. Um, so the Master of Advanced Studies of Economics can be seen as the, the first step of, of people who, who want to obtain a PhD in economics. So also for those people who have ambition to, to obtain a PhD in economics might, might um, 
be very interested in our program, which can be seen as a first step in that respect. So how does our program look like? Well, the next slide here shows uh, three different blocks of our program. So we have a whole series of core courses. Um, we have the a we have electives and we have our, our master thesis. So let me now um, focus a, a little bit more of attention to each of the, the three different blocks. So the red dots here um, show the, the space uh, taken by core courses. So in total, our program consists of uh, 16 ECTS uh, credits. So um, an equivalent of 60 study points, let's say. Well, 36 uh, ECTS credits go to core courses. And by core courses, I mean uh, core courses in microeconomics, macroeconomics and methods. So concretely, we have two courses. Um, each, each core course, by the way, is six ECTS. So we have two core courses in uh, microeconomics, advanced microeconomics one and advanced microeconomics two, where you focus on microeconomic theory. So this is mainly a uh, theoretical courses, um, which focus on, on um, uh, consumer behavior, producer behavior, uh, game theory, information economics, um, general equilibrium aspects. So all these, these topics will, will be dealt with in these two uh, micro courses. On top of that, we have two uh, advanced uh, macroeconomics courses, advanced macroeconomics one and macroeconomics two, which focuses on, on the novel, on novel methods in macroeconomics. Um, uh, you will talk about dynamic uh, stochastic general equilibrium models. Uh, you will talk about VAR techniques uh, and macro. You will talk about the uh, more theoretical macroeconomics. So these are typical topics that will be dealt with in, in that core course. Um, on, on top of that, there's two uh, methods courses. One is advanced econometrics, where uh, you will talk about panel data, discrete choice models, um, time series econometrics. Um, um, so the, the frontier econometrics methods will be dealt with in these courses. And the last um, um, course in the core is uh, dynamic methods. And there you this course will actually be a, a mix between uh, economic theory and econometrics and well, yeah, as the name suggests, focus on dynamic uh, uh, models and economics, uh, both individual making models or, as well as macroeconomic models. So this course will consist of both theory as well as hands-on experience in, in uh, empirical methods. Um, the next big block in, in the, the 60 CTS of the, the MASI program is the master's thesis. So the thesis uh, will consist of 18 ECTS. Um, and in this thesis, you will yeah, show that you can conduct independent research, of course, supervised by a, a professor of our department, but you will uh, try to tackle a concrete research question um, that you uh, will yeah, try to, you will, try to make a contribution uh, a, la, um, um, a scientific article. So the idea is a bit to, to write a thesis that is comparable to a scientific article. Well, you usually will have a, yeah, a very clearly posited research question. Uh, there will be some literature around the research question. There might be some economic theory. And then there, there's usually a, also an application of that theory if, if, if you are, uh, well, for most of the, the thesis. Some theses are entirely theoretical, other theses will be mainly focusing on uh, econometrics methods. So there's a, a broad uh, variety of, of topics covered. Um, but important is it's, it's uh, the idea is a bit to show that, that you are developing into an independent researcher who knows how to tackle the research question by gathering the, the right data, applying the right techniques and starting from the right uh, economic theories. Um, on top of the core and the master thesis, there's also 60 CTS um, that are to be spent on electives. And we actually have a set of six uh, possible electives. And all the electives have the, have the word advanced in the, in the name, which again suggests uh, that yeah, the level is higher than, than you will have in the typical standard master of economics, of course, which, which you already have had normally when you enter this program. So we have uh, topics courses in uh, industrial organization and labor and public economics and in international and development economics. Uh, if you 
are very interested in macroeconomics. There's also an additional course in macroeconomics and, and policy. Um, there's also a topics course in applied econometrics, where you will focus more on specific methods, advanced methods in econometrics. Or if you're interested in time series uh, econometrics, then there's also a topics course on a time series analysis. So this is, uh, in a nutshell, a bit our our uh, program and the structure of it. Uh, as you can see, all the courses are will be a quite advanced level, um, and there's a possibility to to compose a very broad um, portfolio of courses um, in both micro micro macro uh, metrics, and there's a variety of topics courses that caters to a lot of different interests. So oh, this brings me to my next question. Why, why choose to study at the Faculty of Economics of the KU Leuven? Um, so why study and concretely um, choose the Master of Advanced Studies in Economics here in Leuven? Well, a very important thing to, to remark is that uh, the, the faculty members of the Department of Economics uh, try to produce top research. So uh, conducting top research is actually a core value of our department. So if you look at the, the profiles of the, the professors in our department, you will see that, that uh, we publish regularly in, in the, the good journals in the economics literature. So, um, so for us, it's, it's quality is much more important than quantity. So we really try to aim at the, the best journals in economics, the best uh, general. Um, so we, we ideally, we, we, we try to publish in, in general interest journals and the top general interest journals so that that uh, attracts uh, the attention of a lot of, of researchers. So we truly would like to make an impact and we try to have this by trying to publish in the best possible journals. And I think um, in all honesty, our our faculty does very well in that respect. So we publish really in the best journals in economics and do this regularly. Uh, Next, um, we also attach a big importance on, on high quality education. And as our Master of Advanced Studies in Economics program is a, is a small program. So we, we have about uh, 30 students in our program. And this has a, a lot of advantages. So one of the advantages is that given the, the big ratio between teachers and, and students, this implies that, that students get uh, ample attention by, by their teachers. So there's a a lot of attention of the, the teachers to the students. Um, there's also a very small distance between the professors and the students. Um, so the distance is small, of course. I mean, during the lectures, you, you can, of course, ask all kinds of questions. In the break, you can easily go to the professor to ask your questions. But also, there's a, an open door policy. I, I mean, you can always make appointments with, uh, with the professors in their office if you have questions. So, the distance is really small, and I think part of that is, is because we, we're a small group of students, also usually very ambitious students, and who also want to, many of them would like to obtain a PhD at some point. So for that, it's very important to, to talk to your professors, to, to try to see whether there's a potential match in research interests, and eventually to, to be given a, a PhD position at some point. So in that sense, the, the program is an ideal step up. Um, the last thing I would like to mention is that our Department of Economics and, and at the general level, the Faculty of Economics and Business and the University of, of Leuven has a strong international orientation. Um, so, and this shows itself in, in different aspects. So, many of our faculty members come from abroad. So, we, if I look around here in, in, the, in the hallway, that you can see the hallway here, but uh, we have professors from Germany, from Uruguay, um, from France. So, so we have uh, people coming from very different backgrounds, uh, from very who who obtained the PhD at different universities. So, the orientation, the strong international orientation, shows itself in the faculty composition. Um, but on top of that, there's also a, a lot of collaboration with researchers from abroad. So many of our uh, uh, professors have joined projects with uh, people from the United States, from the United Kingdom, and from various other European places or, or other uh, places in the world. Um, on top of that, we, we have a very lively seminar program in, in Leuven um, and in our Department of Economics. Um, in non-COVID times, at least, we have 
yeah, several seminars per week, uh, often with, with guests from abroad. Um, um, so in that sense, the yeah, there's uh, many international connections, and of course, these connections spread out to, to the students in our Master of Advanced Studies and Economics program. Um, so the, these are a bit important features I would like to highlight, um, and that, that might be important for you as a student when you make a choice uh, between uh, this or that program. So once you, you're interested in, in coming to Leuven, a big question is, of course, yeah, what, what's the... Um, admission, uh, what are the admission requirements? So let me spend a few words on them. So um, there's two sets of requirements. One is about uh, mastery of English and um, another one is, is on um, um, additional requirements with respect to quantitative skills. As I, as I told you, the, the program is quite quantitative. Uh, it's very analytical, so at least there's, there's some uh, admission requirements. Um, so first of all, you, when you come from a, a non-Flemish in, institution, as, as most of you will do, uh, there's an English language proficiency sorry, certificate needed. And um, yeah, there's several uh, ways to show your proficiency in English. Um, so you have the TOEFL test, the IELTS test. Uh, there's also some other possible tests you can submit or scores you can submit. Um, actually, for, for students who, who obtained a degree in English in a, a set of countries, they are um, exempt from, from submitting such a certificate. And I'm talking here about students, for example, who obtained a degree in Australia or in um, English-speaking Canada or in Ireland, the UK, United States, where well, you see here the, the countries listed. So if you obtained a, a degree there in English, then you don't need to submit such a certificate. For the other students, um, you have to, to submit such a certificate. As I said, there's not only yeah, English proficiency, but um, we also um, yeah, want to impose some, at least some, some entry requirements on the quantitative skills. Um, and so for our program, we um, want uh, you to submit a GRE test or a, a GMAT test. And especially in our um, program, the Master of Advanced Studies in Economics, we look at the, the quantitative uh, part here. Um, so it's important to, well, the score basically that, that you need in order to, to be allowed to the program, you should be in the uh, 85th percentile or above. So the, the score you need for the quantitative part is actually quite high. Um, but there's again potential exemptions. So if you have a degree from a, an exchange partner of the Faculty of Economics and Business, um, then you don't have to submit such a test. Or if you have a degree from a university in the, the top 200 of the THE or the uh, QS World University rankings, then also you can ask an exemption for, uh, for the test. Or if you have a, a degree from a Belgium university, so not only Flemish one, but also, uh, for example, people from Louvain-Lanneuvel, Brussels, um, can also be exempted from that test. It's really on a case-by-case -case basis, so you have to um, ask your, your uh, exemption via contacting uh, the faculty um, and, and ask for a waiver, and this is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. So this brings me to my last slides on a career perspectives. And actually, I'll, I already sh shed some light on it. So um, we mainly focus on, on students who would like to, to build a research career in either academia or in international institutions or sometimes also in business. Um, or we focus on students who, and that's usually correlated, as I said before, with the research career. So we usually focus on on or students also, part of our students also want to pursue a PhD in economics and our program is an ideal um, step in such uh, ambition. Um, so either, so the typical student in our MASI program either obtains the, the MASI uh, degree after a year and then tries to, to build a research career somewhere, but many of them 
once again want to um, pursue a PhD in economics and then the MASI as part of a, a, broader, a broader trajectory um, where the, that ultimately leads to a, a PhD in economics, either here in Leuven or, or uh, uh, at a place elsewhere. Um, when you surf to our website, you, you see some um, people who, who did the MASI program in the past um, or who did another advanced program in, at the faculty in the past. And here you see three of our ambassadors who uh, come from various uh, parts of the world and who are happy here to, to have in our program. Uh, well, you can read the texts on the, on the website. Um, so maybe in the future, if you come, maybe your picture will appear at the slideshow in the future. So you never know. And then my final slide is um, information on uh, practical information and contact details. So you find um, a lot of information on this program, but also on, on the other programs of, of uh, the Faculty of Economics and Business in the, the first indicated website. Uh, you can find more information on alumni and our student ambassadors in a, in a second um, website here. There's a lot of information in brochures, so all the, the brochures of the program can be found here on the, the third link I show to you. Um, and yeah, there's also all kinds of information packages uh, where, where you find actually most of the, well, if not all the information you need, you need to make a, an informed choice. And in case you would have further questions, you can always uh, send an email to um, the admissions department, uh, the address you can find here, and, and they can help you out with all kinds of practical questions that are not necessarily dealt with in, in the brochures or the information packages. So this is uh, the end of my slideshow. Um, yeah, I hope that I can see some of your people next year. I'm a, a teacher. At, I, I teach, for example, part of the uh, Advanced Microeconomics 1 course. So usually all the students who uh, sign up for this program will meet me at some point, And you never know that we see each other next September. So thanks a lot for your interest. And don't hesitate to contact uh, um, us or the um, or the the administration in case you have further questions thank you